Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about creating tables, dropping alter tables in uh, in a SQL. So let's get started and let's see how to create tables. First, if you want to create table here, let's say create table, and this is my script will be create table. The name of the table, let's name it like imp and name, which I mean employee name. And here where I will add my uh, columns, let's say is like imp id int int, it's mean uh, integer and Imp name, let's say it's var car. I can say except until 50 in, uh, 50 characters. And here I say salary and say I'm gonna say int. Here this is a simple table. I can I will create it under this database and here we go so I will go here refresh my tables it's right here this is my three columns I'm going to insert into imp name because right now it's it's empty if we go right here select it it's empty and they say select one comma let's say here Melvin comma the salary is in we can say like mm, 1500 there is a one row it's been inserted it's right here now I have data so I want if I want to alter my table how to do that alter there is two ways either you can go from here right click and go to design and from design you can like alter the name of the table or the data type or you can you know add in constraints like for example the identity for the imp table you can from here enable it as yes and how much there will be you can put not one which will be increased automatically uh, one number at a time but sometimes it doesn't allow you to do, to do that here uh, so you have to use a script how I can do this script or how can I use it by say alter table my imp in name and let's say is I want to alter this table or this table instead of varkar to invarkar. So I'm gonna say alter column and the name of the column in varkar to y5. So right now I see it's a varkar 50. Now let's see what's gonna happen after I execute my query. It says command complete successfully. So right here when I come here and refresh it, here we go. This is invacar two five five. If you want to not to alter a column, maybe you want to add. So you have to say alter table. add 
the name directly of the column without this without you are saying add column so add I'm gonna say like s s n of an employee and invoca as well because we have the underscore between the digits of the social security number so I'm gonna say here it's been added so right here the social security number of the employees this is how I add altered and even I can drop a co my column I can say drop column called SSN without adding the data type of that column so my column right now is dropped it's dropped so this is how I alter the table by altering my columns now if I want to drop the table from my database simply I can say drop table drop table in name from my database here where this table will be gone from my database because I drop it and there is no way to return it back so this is how I uh, create a table alter it and drop it so I hope that was useful for you guys thank you